Well, we're starting to head towards springtime here. Northern Maine, you can see there's still plenty of snow out here, but it's actually pretty warm right now. Probably, I'd say in the high 30s, something like that, Fahrenheit. Um, so it's it's warming up. It's supposed to be up in the towards high 40s, maybe even 50 degrees today. Just wanted to do a real quick video though. Um, last night we we're sitting around this, after the supper is over and just sitting around talking as a family. And um, my son Oliver, he looks at me and he says, "Dad, I have a question about the Trinity." Okay. And he said, um, "The Trinity teaches." The Trinity teaching is that there are three separate persons uh, within that make up God, essentially, or whatever. And I said, yeah. And, and a seven-year-old boy here, by the way, if you don't know what age my son is. And he says, if there are three separate persons, can they ever become one single person? In other words, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, can they ever come together as one person? Or are they always separate? And he said, if they're always separate then how do they claim to be one God? And I thought, that's a good question. And I don't know how a Trinitarian would answer that. So I'd like some Trinitarians to put in the comments, the three separate persons of the Trinity. Can they ever become one person? Hmm, interesting question. 